It's the most wonderful time of the year. What time is it, Laura? The most wonderful time. Yeah, but what's the most wonderful time? Nintendo Direct time. Huh. Could she be less enthusiastic? <laughs> Here's me being all like, it's wonderful. I was Ooh. just wondering what you wanted me to say. It's Nintendo Direct time. Yeah, it is. It is. The Nintendo. most wonderful time of the year. Yeah. What did you think of it? It's definitely one of the best ones we've had in a long time. I feel like we say this every time. The best Nintendo Direct I know, Nintendo we Direct do say ever. that every time, but this one was actually really good because it had Zelda in it. Before we go over everything from today's Nintendo Direct, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. They really help us out a lot. And... Let's get into it. Pikmin fans rejoice. That's not me. Yeah. It's not you either, is it? No. We're not really fans of the Pikmin franchise, just because we've never really played the games, not because we don't like them. Just mm. Never really been exposed, that's all. We got some gameplay, looks very nice, and this cute dog. But he has no nose, and he's surrounded by all these Pikmins with little flowers on their heads, so. I just thought that was ironic that he can't smell them. I can't remember if we already had a release date for Pikmin 4 or not, but... No, we didn't. But now we have one. What date is it? The 21st of the 7th, 2023. I feel like this Direct could be summed up in two ways. It's either the Direct of DLCs mm -hmm. or the Direct of Mystery Games. So many detective games. I know, right? So we got one set in the Tron universe, which does look pretty cool. Never seen the Tron movies, but I've been meaning to see them. I've seen Tron in Kingdom Hearts. Hey. I've also never actually played a mystery game before. Yeah, it could be cool. Mm. Then we got one called Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, a new Professor Layton game. Yes, super cozy. The one I'm most interested in though is Master Detective Rainfall. Something oh, along those okay. lines. Raincoat? Raincoat, yeah. that's the one. That looks really cool. Yeah, I it like does the art style really cool. a lot. Mm -hmm. It almost reminds me of the Shimigami Tensei. I think there is, is that the one that does have a Shimigami in it? I think Shimigami just means like something devil in yeah. Japanese. Yeah, I think so. Uh, anyways, it reminds mm. me of that and that's a good thing. Mm. There's also another policeman like a Decker police. Oh yeah, what was that? I remember that. And I think that you would really like it because it looked like it had some tactical That's battling. That's right, Decker police. Mm -hmm. Yes, it didn't add cats. I actually didn't notice the cats. Oh wait, somebody turned into a cat. Yeah, mm. and then there was like this cat boss that actually looks really good. Now that yeah. has some JRPG elements to it. Okay, oh, maybe yeah, that's the one sure. I'm most excited for. Anyway, mystery games. It looks, been, it looks like it's going to be your year for mystery S games. Something different to play. It's yeah. nice. Yeah, we need more of that. Now we just need a Waluigi Bit of variety. Waluigi? Yeah. What the hell? What? Mario's been everywhere except for mystery. Waluigi can have his own mystery Like, game. if you are a fan of Waluigi and comment if you hate Waluigi. It's, it, there's, you, it just can't be both. It's like a love-hate relationship with Waluigi. You either love him or you hate him. Mm -hmm. We hate him because he always beats us in Mario Kart. Yeah, I know. Stupid long legs. So the other thing mm -hmm. we got a lot of, DLC. Yeah. Xenoblade 3. Mm -hmm. Splatoon 3. Mm -hmm. Fire Emblem Engage. Mario Kart DLC. Yeah. I think that's it. I but think that's all the DLC. It feels like a lot. Yeah. Two of Nintendo's biggest games last year both got substantial DLCs. I'm a mm -hmm. little bit annoyed they're not in the expansion pass. Switch Online. At least the Splatoon DLC. I thought for sure it was going to be, but because Splatoon 2 DLC is on there, so why not just slip a bit of three? Because that would be too good a value for the service. It looks True. like we're just returning to the first Splatoon game. Mm. And then there's a second wave, which is hopefully some story elements. That actually looked really cool. It was all like white. Black it looked white. like artistic. Mm -hmm. I guess you've got to like paint the area. Maybe oh, it's going to be yeah, like of course. a big puzzle book, yeah, um, puzzle book, coloring book. <laughs> I was going to say picture book and then I was like, no, that's, that's not, not right, right either. either. No, it looks really good though. It does, yeah. Mm. We got some more emblem rings for Engage. Man, I haven't even finished that game. Like, calm down on the DLC. That's getting a substantial story update later. There's a new Mario Kart track. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. And Birdo. Oh, that's true. I didn't even notice that Birdo wasn't there to begin with, oh, to be honest. Birdo. I know, I feel kind of bad, but I was like, 
Huh? Berta is awesome. Uh, yeah, she is cool, but yeah, I didn't notice that she wasn't there, so my bad. But the thing I'm most excited for is the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. Not the one that's coming out soon, but the one after that, which is going to be like the substantial story DLC. Yeah. We're like going back a bit. If you've played that game, I think we're going to like the founders of the city. Mm -hmm. Don't want to give too much away because you should definitely play the game yourself, but ooh, I'm hyped for that story. Oh, we actually also got Castlevania. Oh yeah, Dead, Dead Cells. Cells DLC. Dead Cells Almost Castlevania. Almost forgot about that. That looks really cool. Dead Cells is doing amazingly for itself. Like talk about an indie success story. It's like the Smash Brothers of like roguelike indies. <laughs> There's so much stuff there. True. Just quickly, I do want to bring up the Samba de Amigo Party Central. Oh yeah, that monkey m Maraca, Maraca game. Yeah. Honestly, not interested at all until they mentioned the love matching mode. What and an interesting mode. I think that I would be hilarious and a ton of fun for us to do. What if we're not a match what if we're on not compatible? the Samba de Amigo Party Central. I honestly don't we know. Have to break up. I don't know if it's the best way to test your compatibility. I don't know. It's seems, more it like seems pretty legit to me. How close? How fast your reflexes are? No, it's how in sync you oh, are. Oh, how in yeah. sync your bodies are. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> We also got a more in-depth look at the Bayonetta origin story. Mm, this that looks pretty cool. Looks awesome. It really the art style really reminds me of Witchwood. If you guys have played that game before, it's like a picture book art style. Sort it's of. definitely it, like it looks like an indie mm, Bayonetta. It does, it? yeah, it does. Which raises the question: Is it then worth sixty dollars? Because I guarantee you the production quality isn't quite. I don't want to say it's not no. there, but do you know what I mean? Like it's Well, not really, because I think that there's plenty of indies that are just as good as... I 100% agree, but they don't cost the full 60 US dollars. Mm, but it's Bayonetta. Yeah, it's Nintendo's IP. They can do what they want with it. They can charge 60 bucks for it. Hey, I don't Metroid... see why it wouldn't be worth 60 bucks. Metroid Dread was worth 60 bucks, mm. so should we just jump to it? Yeah. Metroid Prime. Remastered. I'm pissed. <laughs> this is BS, guys. I know. Tom's really mad this about it. This is absolute B. Nintendo is, speaking of $60, Nintendo is going to make us pay $60 for Prime 1 Remastered, another $60 for Prime 2, and then another $60 for Prime 3. B. S. I've just been waiting for Metroid Prime for so long that I was honestly stoked at like anything, you know? I was like, perfect. You've thrown me a bone. I'm taking it. I took that bone. I wanted a trilogy <laughs> remaster, not just one All game. Four. I mean, yeah, yeah, all four. Mm. That would have been ideal, but the Maybe. trilogy! In my trilogy! It does look really good, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So are I you guess. boycotting it, or? <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> I'm not. I am not diving into the world <laughs> of video game boycotts right now. Not after Hogwarts. Keeping on the Metroidvania thing, what did you think of Disney Illusion Island? Yeah, it looked pretty cool, but I don't think that I'll get it. Do you get the feeling that it's a Metroidvania? It's definitely like a side scroller. I think that that's what yeah, kind of gives you the Metroidvania vibes. But they were just saying like unlock new paths with different mm. abilities, and that like is that, what a Metroidvania yeah. is. I don't True. know, man. I think it looks cool. It's got couch co-op, cool. so yeah. we can play together. I don't know. I'm pretty. I I I, I want it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's said <laughs> We're gonna get. We're getting it. Disney Illusion Island. We're not getting Metroid Prime Remastered. I never said that. <laughs> Just because I'm upset doesn't mean I'll get it. <laughs> well, good. Well, I'll get it anyway. So it was the Nintendo Direct of DLC and mystery games, but it was also the Nintendo Direct of demos. You know, I've been wanting to do a YouTube video on demos on the eShop for ages. And maybe this That's is the kick that we actually need. Yeah. If it wasn't for the demo of the first Octopath Traveler, yeah. We might never have picked it up and been exposed to that whole beautiful world of HD 2D. That's right. Square Enix is the king of demos on the eShop mm -hmm. and they're not disappointing. So excited for Octopath 2. Like, I am so keen. One of my most hyped games of this year, probably just behind 
Tears of the Kingdom, to be honest. Yeah, there you I go. I am so excited. The Octopath demo is also really good because they're like five, six hours long and then they also transfer all of your progress mm -hmm. so you don't have to like start it again when you actually, if you actually get the game, which you probably will, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. And another beautiful pixel art game also sea of stars i have been so hyped for sea of stars it was meant to come out last year and it got delayed well it's finally coming this year in april no in august but we've got a demo today yes another demo i'm Absolutely. definitely going to play that one i wonder how long that one's going to be you play that say. pixel art i'll play octopath yeah sounds good sounds good to me Beep. and then we also got a kirby demo mm-hmm I was actually going to wear my Kirby hat, but oh, I didn't. You should have. Oh, well, it's cool. It's because it's night time, so you don't think about wearing a sun hat. Next video. Yeah, next video. Make sure you subscribe to see my cool Kirby hat. <laughs> How do you feel about this attrition, attrition odyssey? Etrian odyssey. I actually really like it. Yeah, it's I, like a POV dungeon crawler. Yeah, I thought you were seemed interested. That, yeah. I don't know, that style of game doesn't really speak to me. I've never, it's very unique. I don't think I've ever it's even seen another game like niche. that. niche. Mm. Ursha Gaming really likes them. Shout out to Ursha Gaming, you best. And it's finally time for Advance Wars to come out. Ah, oh, yes. I respect them for well, delaying it out of when it first started. I wholeheartedly respect that It was that a good decision. move, yeah, yeah absolutely. it was a good move. Again, I'm playing Fire Emblem Engage right now, so I'm not quite ready to jump into another tactical game. I'm not gonna get it. It comes out in April. Are you? So. Ah, uh, maybe. I think the Game Boy Advance ones still look better, though. I know, I do. That's what I think. I think the Game Boy Advance ones look better. Yeah. Maybe. I just love the Game Boy Advance art style. Yeah, me too. Is this going to lead us into the next thing? Well, I was going to say maybe they could release the original versions on the Game Boy Advance that's coming out on the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. So this is the biggest thing of the Direct for mm. a lot of people. I know a lot of people are huge on the retro scene. It's so nice to have like pretty much your whole Nintendo catalog yeah. on one system. And honestly, we're coming pretty close. I think this yeah, will be right? the end of it. They're not doing GameCube because they're releasing a whole load of remastered. Yeah, that's like true. Like that Etrian Odyssey. Mm-hmm. And the button Kaitos games that are also coming. This is it. Yeah, probably. Game is Boy, it. Game Boy Color mm -hmm. for the regular NSO, and Game Boy Advance for the NSO expansion pack. That's what I expected. That, yeah, me yeah. too. I think and that's I'm fair. Most excited for the Game Boy Advance ones anyway, so me I'm stoked with that. Too. The Game Boy Advance was my first console ever. That's, yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, sorry, the PlayStation 1 was. Okay. No, I think it was the Game Boy Advance. I would have been five years old, I think. And I'm nice. pretty sure I got it on launch. Awesome. Yeah. That is cool. I have some very fond memories with that system. And I'm excited to play things that I was probably a bit too young to understand back then. Yeah. Like Golden Sun. I've heard oh, I'm so, so many excited good things for that. about that series. Yeah, I was like looking at buying a physical copy of it for the Game Boy Advance, but they're really expensive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a really sought after game. And yeah. that's actually also a point with these online services. Mm -hmm. They're making games that are like honestly pretty inaccessible for a lot of people because of how pricey they are. And then mm -hmm. you've got to buy the system. Yeah. Obviously, there's a legal emulation, but. That's a whole We don't get into story. that. <laughs> That's why I reckon that the Nintendo Switch Online service and the expansion pack is really worth the money because I it's agree. the biggest like retro subscription service. Definitely. We all knew it was coming eventually. Yeah. Well, exactly. we hoped. Yeah, we hoped. But and now it's here. Now it's here. Yay. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm so keen. Play some Mario Kart Super Circuit. Minus Cap on the Switch. <gasps> if anybody hasn't played The Legend of Zelda, Zelda Minus Cap before, just please do it if you have the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack because it's one of my favorite Zelda games. It's so underrated. Can you see how much I agree? I was just <laughs> like, yeah, it is the most underrated Zelda game, I think. I think so. It is phenomenally good. Mm. Like, oh my God. Is it good? <laughs> it's Although good. I'm a little bit disappointed because that means it won't get the Link's Awakening treatment. Maybe on the Super Switch. I guess the only little thing we've got to go before we get into the big juicy morsel is that Fantasy Life game. Yeah, I actually think that looks really cool. It's I got like Animal Crossing vibes. Did you see those trees? The trees were like spot on like the Animal Crossing trees. Did you see the stairs? 
Mm-hmm. Any sim game like I'm in, at first I thought it was going to be like a me-verse game. Yeah, I got those vibes. Yeah, and then I was like, huh, Animal Crossing? But no, it's Fantasy Life. I think it's a series that we've just never gotten I've been sleeping before. on it. I actually know nothing about this series. I think it's something we would like. I've heard of it, but yeah, I haven't like really looked into it, you know. Yeah, I haven't like got the meat and potatoes on it. I you know? haven't really grasped it by the horns. <laughs> by the uh, by the horn. Okay, yeah. I was thinking. You were thinking by the balls. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. <laughs> the big, the juicy, the motherload of the whole direct. The big kahunas. The best thing we got today. New Zelda trailer. New Zelda Tears, Tears of, the of the Kingdom, Kingdom trailer and the special edition announcement. <gasps> I'm getting one. It comes in paints. Oh, I'm getting one. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'll 100% do an unboxing of that. I think we're going to do like six months worth of Tears of the Kingdom content because it's probably all we're going to be playing for like six months. Yeah. Honestly, we're going to do a deep dive into this trailer mm -hmm. at a later date. Yeah. So we're not going to get too into mm. the horns of it right now. The kahunas. Yeah. It was the longest one that we got yet, totally packed full of information, so heaps of new stuff. We got to hear Ganon's voice. I know. Maybe there's going to be more like voice acting in this game I, because I, it's not happening in the past. It's happening like in the present. Mm -hmm. So I'm really hoping for some more cutscenes, some more story elements, you know? Yeah, I agree with you. I think I think they're going to like rectify that. Mm. Oh, man. I'm just so like, I think that's all we have to say right now, isn't it? Yeah, because there's going to be a whole video about We're it. We're going to so. do a whole, well, probably like a series of videos mm -hmm. on what we know about Breath of the Wild 2. I'm still calling it that, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Before we go, we just wanted to say thank you for watching this video because we know that so many people cover these sort of events and they always, you know, release them in a timely manner, but we have to work and all that and kind of stuff. And then we're in Australian time zones. It comes mm. out at nine in the morning, this one debuted, mm -hmm. and then work, come home. I slept for like four hours last night, so yeah. I'm probably not gonna get this edited tonight. It's just a whole thing. So we really, really do appreciate you we guys do. watching we these do. videos. It's Thank you. It's so nice of you. Thank you're a you. legend. <laughs> you are. You're breathtaking. Has anyone told you that you're a legend yet today? Let us know what you guys are most keen for in the comments below. I think we're going to get a lot of Tears of the Kingdom. So maybe apart from that. <laughs> I would be shocked if we didn't, honestly. Yeah, 100%. Let us know. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you next week. On the next one. Let's just go the next one. No <laughs> pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. Less You're pressure right. on us. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. Wave. Wave quit. to the nice people. <laughs> Please don't put that in.